Hello, hello, hello. Troubleshooting guy for Total Battle Chest Tracker. Okay, so uh, temporary chest returns null, and what this is caused by is the inability for the program to read um, the from and the source. So when you do when you do the OCR setup you should really you see how I have a red red marker here well that's because I it's telling you where to select it from so if you click on uh, wow yeah we can you know what that'll be fine so when you do select the rectangle, don't select from here. Select from like around here. And I drag the mouse. And that should be a good position. Uh, it will read the clan, uh, the chest name, the from, and the source. And then you let go, and it will give you a, um, these little green boxes are, is what the OCR is reading. Click on yes, begin, there you go, and done. So, so inside the settings under OCR, what you should He's getting is a preview window of what the OCR reads. So you have to have the words from and source in there because if you don't, then the program doesn't, it will return null. That's essentially what's causing that issue. So when you go, so if you're not seeing the from and source, Let's say, let's say it's like this, right? Uh, you want to make sure by adjusting the threshold that you can clearly see the words from and source. And that's generally all you really have to do. All right. Uh, next issue that people have been saying is the after reading the chest um, and then doing it again, the, the chest, the automation stops after counting four, four chests. That is not... That's not um, an issue on you guys' side. That's just an issue because the program is when when it stops doing the cancel when it stops um, the the automation. It's in the process of canceling the previous task. Another issue people have been saying is that they the names that um, there's names that are being misspelled or something. Well, that's not a, you know, that's a problem because of the um, dots per inch. So normally any OCR documents or anything that needs to be read needs to be extremely higher resolution. Um, 300 DPI is a good number for the program to actually uh, read the image correctly. So in 2.0 version, what I have is it it is locked at 300 DPI instead of what you, what the version you have now that is reading from what your monitor's capability is. In 2.0, it will no longer depend on what your monitor's DPI is, and it will give you much more accurate results as far as reading 
foreign names. All right, until next time, my amazing people. Um, hope you liked the video. Uh, comment, um, subscribe, and give a thumbs up.